I once saw uh, a thing. It was like one of those little gifts or whatever, gif, gif, whatever you want to call it. Of a deer getting shot in the head. And its eyes bulbed out. It was horrifying. I would rather watch that on an infinite loop than deal with Aaron. Sweet, merciful heavens from above and below and everywhere in the megaverse. You, you're awful. Thank you very Over there. much. Now I'm gonna take all this since you're all. I don't think they can take juices. Oh my god! Look at that, Aaron and Bill. Is it really that oh? Why? What did I ever do to you? They took the one. What was the logic of the pathing? Path you. Oh, just. Gotcha. Take your bat. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what he needs, a laser sword. Uh -huh. Um, give me that back. Go die in a hole. I'm gonna try to get to the, uh... Oh, come on, this is gonna be awful. I know Aaron's gonna get caught. Yep, I'll be damned. Thank you very much. Oh no, it was Bill this time. Cause Bill's stupid. Bill likes disappointing his family. Even Leia is not doing as shitty as Bill and everyone. We have to, you have to babysit the AI in this game. Come on, you... Oh, my God. Aaron, move! Aaron, move! Follow me! We're boned. You know, I've, I've gotten every survivor multiple times in this game. I have completed this game to its entirety, full thousand gamer score twice on two different accounts and it never ceases to amaze me how bad the AI is the time limit wouldn't be that bad if the AI could properly follow you and not be completely stupid beyond rational comprehension it's the AI that takes up most of your time in the game they're slow they get stuck behind random objects they're not it's just a complete cluster that's, that's all the AI is. Complete, total cluster. And we need to... Oh, it's going to be awful. Come on! Come on! And you have to kind of deliberately get them kind of hurt to get them into some of these areas. Like, you don't realize how lucky you are to play if you started with Dead Rising 2. I mean, you missed out on a very good game, but you don't understand just how... Bad the series can the ser when Dead Rising's bad it's atrocious. Like that is the thing about this game series when it is awful it is spectacular spectacularly bleh, awful. <laughs> this is Ken or Kent excuse me he's terrible and if you didn't guess by now. He is crazy. Thank you very I mean, much. spoiler, not really. Frank, Frank, Frank. Look at what is Bill doing? Look at Bill. Are you trying to hump Leia? I mean, she's grieving right now. You might want to. Pick a more appropriate time, my uh, chubby friend. And look at Aaron and Bert. They have both the same stupid slacked expression. Like, uh, I can't believe him. We're here. Uh, life sucks. Let's get joided. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Follow me! Oh, crap. Boring! Good. I'm a pro! You're nothing! Nothing! Good. Is that the best?
best you can do. Oh yeah, he'll like run away. That's very helpful. There we go. Fantastic. Great shot. Real quick, um, I'm just doing this real quick. Uh, options, I'm turning the subtitles off. I don't like them during cutscenes. Get a signature pose. See, I don't even think he knows what he's doing half the time. Do your pose. Perfect. Hmm. Well, it's in focus. And uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay. Here comes the next one, Frankie. But first, feast your eyes on my work. Now this is my most emotionally moving shot. <laughs> now this is my sexiest shot. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. Okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and take even better pictures than the ones I just showed you. You think you can handle that, huh? Yeah. Okay, now we need to check on stupid, 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 and stupid. I'm kidding. Leia is actually not terrible. Based solely on the fact that I don't... She, for some reason, the people you have to carry and or can't hold hands can usually, or, or rather, are usually pretty good at, um, avoiding zombies for whatever particular reason. And we're gonna go ahead. And, uh, come on. Uh, you're almost here. You're almost here. Look at this. We're literally right here and they can't get closer. Come on. Come on, Aaron. Come on. Here, boy. Here, boy. There you go. Who gets a treat? You don't because you're awful! So this is right the section where we are introduced to the zombie queen. And we are also introduced to the fact that people who with a limp take a long ass time to get back. Actually, we need to, while we're here. Thank you very much. And we made it just in time to avoid the mm, shit time.
Okay. So. Okay, we don't get a zombie queen. And we get more zombies! Sweet! It's a lose-lose for everyone. Thank you very much. That's probably why we keep... You all keep losing health. Bill keeps clubbing everyone with the... Or someone was hitting someone with a baseball bat there. But we avoided the 7 o'clock. And what would have happened there in addition to the zombies being, you know, uh, more dangerous and blah, 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 cliche, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's a group of convicts that are driving around in Willamette. Instead of doing the smart thing and, well, actually, no, they are kind of doing the smart thing. If they leave, there's the military. We saw them guarding, so, you know, good for you, convicts. Good for you. It's nice to see someone's fighting the good fight. Um, but, unfortunately, yeah, we're not going to, uh, that did throw a bit of a damper in our uh, plan to obtain a queen to use, but, you know, I keep wanting to... Uh, Frank! Frank, I'm completely hopeless, Frank! Where did you get stuck at, Bill? I, don't even, I didn't even think there was that many zombies there. Like, I'm killing these by twirling my hand around. Get your shit together. I just German suplex Bill. I feel slightly satisfied. I feel slightly happy. <laughs> and he actually managed to run there probably quicker than he would have on his own. <laughs> Life's kind of fun sometimes. Get in here, you two ne blithering Neanderthals. Get in here before I take those bats and shove them up your urethra. How oh, great a hunk of meat. I can do absolutely balls with this. Absolutely balls. Now here's something fun. Go. Yes, no one helped the uh the the solo mother. No no no. I'll I'll take care of it. First, let me drink much. some of this. We're gonna toss our laser sword out. Get some uh a new one. But we have delivered all the survivors. Hot diggity damn. How could there be such a thing as zombies? Oh no, how are you so fat? I'm sorry, that was mean. And accurate. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We gotta line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right. We've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. The Boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Now we're gonna go save real quick, and that'll be the end. I think this will be part two. Might have be part three. I have no idea. We shall find out. But I'm gonna go ahead and save and contemplate on if I should continue. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Let's see here. We need to go. Uh, what were we doing last? I have no idea. I do know we need to go outside. Get rid of that.
has just four bullets. Not really helpful. We need to do some exploring as I get Skype messages. Multiple Skype messages. I can't tell you how many times I've traversed this little section here. I'm really surprised I didn't I didn't learn my lesson and didn't save the zombie genocider thing. Cause that real Mega Buster would come in handy for a couple of sections. But the laser sword does do a absolutely ridiculous amount of damage as it is. So it's not, you know, completely uh, for naught. But we're going to do something that will probably... Ah, oh, that's a baton. Ah, you have a pistol. Get that for Adam because he's got some balloons we're going to have to pop, so... Pop the balloon, walk up to him, hit him with the laser sword once or twice, and he'll go down. And then we can work on, we can use those chainsaws. But we should be getting a cutscene with some uh, convicts. All right, now we're going to try her name's Sophie, I do believe, Sophia, Sophie, something like yeah, Sophie. What we're going to do or try to do is stupid over here is not so good with the driving. So lure him to a tree. And bam, we have taken out the convicts. Now, Sophie Ah, there you are. Come on! Hello? And we we can actually hold her hand, which comes in handy. A lot the hold handing uh, or the survivors which you have to hold their hands are the preferable ones for the most part because you can sort of mosey your way through a lot of zombies. You know they're right with you. Um, it does leave you open for attacks, but, you know, other than that, it's it's fine. But, sadly, we do have to reattach our hand. You know, we have to re-go and hold our hands every single time I want to uh, go out. I have no. I think I may have been going after that clothes achievement last time I played this game, which might explain why I'm in a tracksuit. I just. I was just starting to wonder why I was. God, when was the last time I played this game? I mean, aside from yesterday. Who knows? Come on. Like I said, it's usually not too bad with the ones you have to hold their hands. Usually you can kind of, you know, slightly get by a lot of these guys, but... Go ahead and rotate. She's close enough. I usually try to wait till they're either at the edge or have hopped up. <laughs> ah, yes. That was, that, was, that was my sexy picture. I've taken many of them. As many times as I've played this game, I do know that 
I always kept forgetting uh, Ken required a, a sexy photo. So, we're gonna go. Yeah. Classic Frank West. So, eh. Coffee creamer. If we have two of those, you can make the quick step. Quick step comes in handy. But we're going to start walking around. Since we've got a lot of time. If you're used to Dead Rising, you can usually make it to where a lot of times you will have, you know, stretches and durations of uh, the game. Which you can kind of sort of explore and, you know, uh, just in general, you know, do stuff. So right now we're going to go on. Let's see. We're actually going to see... There's a... Uh, I believe it's the... I forget what plaza it's called. Let's check our map. It is the... Is it the Alfresco Plaza? Uh, no, it's the North Plaza. Um, we're going to go to the North Plaza. Because there's a psychopath. Which is sort of... Um, Dead Rising has a tendency to have a lot of cases that you actually don't get phone calls for. So this is one of those uh, sort of undocumented photo or photos psychopaths and missions and whatnot with survivors I can't tell you how many times I've heard this music like just on loop from being stuck like I, I attempted seven day survivor first this was before dr. Neusenstein had his guide out which if you've played Dead Rising and went for the the full thousand score you knew Chances were, you if you went for the 7-Day Survivor achievement, you came across a guide by someone named Dr. Neusenstein. And he did the pretty much the Dead Rising psychopath, you know, the survival guide for 7 days. Which I think some people have survived like 30-some days. Stuff like some ridiculous numbers. It's it's astonishing their Xbox didn't explode because my original model uh, would red ring because it'd be on so long. Because, you know, 18 hours straight... Especially for something very monotonous, is very um, hard to do. He's just going to tell us it's the North Plaza. Okay, just checking the map. Sorry, I went to uh, edit the picture thing. I want to make sure I had my erotica photo. I've got a couple. Those are the all, always the ones I forgot. That, and you have to have a maintenance, a photo of the maintenance, and the clock tower. I forget why the clock tower, but I remember there's a group of survivors that will be in this uh, psychopath place we're going to. Let me check the map again. Remember, it's down in little Alto. Yeah, the hunt check. Here we are. I'm not sure if he'll be here at this present moment. We might have shown up a bit too early. Like I said, we've actually got quite a bit of free time. Nope, we're right on schedule. Look, mister, if we're gonna fight these zombies, we need guns! Yes, stay back! I trust them damn zombies about as far as I can throw them, but I trust people even less! Don't shoot! Look, let, let's talk this over. You can talk to my twill gauge! Don't get no closer, or I'll blow you all to kingdom come! Hey, hang on. Damn it, I warned you. In a situation like this, I can't afford to trust nobody. Alright, so we should be able to kill him fairly easy. Two hits with our laser sword, and he's out. <laughs> Damn, mister! Come on now! What, what are you, crazy? You won't... 
You want guns so bad that y'all are willing to kill for them? Let me go. Hey. Oh, please. Hey, wait. 